Welcome, and following is a Samsung Galaxy A20e, and today I'll show you how to perform a hard reset of the device in order to remove screen lock. So as you will see right here, I do have a screen lock, and whoops, and I'll proceed as though I don't know the pattern for it. So you can see it right here. Um, and keep in mind before you start this, if you have some kind of Google account, so if I go into settings before, um, and under accounts right here, if you have an account added, something like Google and you perform a reset of the device, it will then, uh, after the reset when you're trying to set up the device, it will prompt you to log in with the previous account and without actually knowing it, you won't be able to set up the device. So it'll be stuck uh, on the setup screen. So keep that in mind. But assuming you know the, uh, the Google account uh, and just don't know the pa pattern, you can proceed by, oh, let's just go back to the lock screen as though it would be like this. So you want to shut off the device. now. You won't be able to just simply hold the power key and then select power off because it will give you draw the pattern to power off the phone, which is kind of counterproductive. But so we need to forcibly shut off the device, which I believe it was power key and volume down. And the moment the device shuts off, you want to slide up to volume up while holding power key. So basically, let me just light up the screen. So you want to see the screen because the moment it actually goes black, it's when you switch to volume up from volume down. So let's just go volume down and the power key, keep holding it. And once it shuts off, which should be about now, switch to volume up while holding power key. And from here, once you see the Samsung logo, we can let go and we should be taken to the recovery mode. And there it is. So from the recovery mode, you want to use a volume keys to navigate. So volume down to go down and volume up to go up. With that in mind, select Wipe Data Factory Reset and confirm it with Power Key. And once more, press Yes or select Yes and press Power Key. You'll get on the bottom dialog box and Data Wipe Complete should be the last thing that you'll see. And Reboot System Now then will be selected by default. So all you really need to do now is press Power Key. And keep in mind that once you press uh, Reboot System Now, the device will be rebooting, but will take a little bit longer than it normally does because it's continuing the process in the background right now. Uh, but once it's finished, we should be then greeted with the Android setup screen. So I'll be back once that is actually visible. And as you can see, now the process is finished. So I'll go through the setup process fairly quickly just to show that there is no more lag screen. Let me just change the language to something more uh, bearable. So let's go English. Next. Now keep in mind that if you had a Google account, then you won't be able to skip the Wi-Fi connection but before the process, I actually logged out so I can tap on skip. Otherwise, this button will be completely gone from here. Now uh, you have the option now to add uh, your protection. So pin pattern, password, fingerprint, whatever you like. Uh, and you can also skip it. So skip anyway. And skip. And if I like the device now and unlock it, you'll see that there is no more screen lock. So that is how you perform a hard reset of the device uh, and remove a screen lock on top of it. And if you found this very helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.